Hey guys, Ron and Nate for Function Build Aquatics. What's up guys? This is our vinegar worm culture. And I'm going to show you what is considered to be one of the finest first foods for fry, super small fry food. Now, I'm going to need this first cultured, minute, micro type food for when I breed our wild betta and bellus, which are notorious for producing extremely small fry. So, vinegar worms grow in, of course, a 50% vinegar solution and 50% water. And what you typically will do is add either apple cider, uh, apple cider vinegar, or in my case, I tried white vinegar and 50% water. And you typically would put a small piece of apple inside the main culture jar. This jar right here is going to be my harvest jar. I will tonight put a small piece of apple down the bottom to keep these guys uh, doing well. But what I mean by culture jar is that is fresh clear water right above the cotton swab. The cotton swab will actually separate the vinegar, highly acidic vinegar solution. Then you have the cotton swab. And then on top of the cotton swab, you have about a, which basically is, is a half inch of fresh water. That's the section of water that I will actually harvest the vinegar worms from because you do not want to add the vinegar solution to your aquarium. It's going to crush your pH. What will happen with the vinegar worms, and I'll show you a close-up of the vinegar worms, is that they'll, they'll make their way from the water column itself that they're living in with the vinegar solution. They have to breathe air. They'll make it through the cotton swab. And the cotton swab actually, is, I have a, a piece of fishing, air, uh, fishing line tied to it, so in case it does fall in, I can actually retrieve it. But what they'll do is they'll make it through the cotton swab, they'll work their way through the cotton swab to get to the fresh air up top, of which this particular bottle I'm using has a small breather tube right here. And that'll allow fresh air to actually export from the bottle. And in that freshwater solution, that's where you will harvest the vinegar worms to feed your fish. And that's just basically uh, RO water that I mix with some, de uh, with some regular tap water. Now let me show you a close-up of what vinegar worms look like. Hey Dad, I have a question. Sure. If you would check the pH, if you got like a pH strip and tested it, what do you think it would be? In this solution? Yeah. You see those tiny little micro fauna squiggly looking little clear worms? They are vinegar worms. There are millions and millions and millions of them in this bottle. To answer Nate's question, it's probably high, highly acidic. I bet if you tested the pH in this bottle, it's probably in the twos to maybe possible threes. I don't know, but it's really acidic. But these tiny little microfauna are fantastic for feeding super small fry, very first stage fry. I expect this to actually help us a great deal in, in, in our fry production. Also, when we go to spawn some of the smaller, better species that produce small fry, this is a great food to get them to the micro worm stage and then the, eventually the BBS stage, the baby brown shrimp stage. But this should actually make us a lot more successful in breeding our wild and domestic bettas. Ron and Nate from Functional Build Aquatics. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. This is our vinegar worm culture for feeding super small and first stage fry. Let's try to get to 800. Thanks guys.